is something you said that upset and scared a lot of people. It upset a lot of Jews in the United States and around the world when you called the Holocaust a myth. There are people, some people I know, who escaped Hitler's reign. There is research, there are scholars who can teach you about it, and yet you've expressed doubt about the Holocaust. Why? I've asked two, three clear questions on this. You know that uh, I belong to the university. I'm an academician. I'm interested in having a scientific uh, approach to all events. So I raised two or three questions. The first question was, در جنگ جهانی بیش از 60 میلیون نفر کشته شده. In the first world war over 60 در جنگ جهانی اول ما اون جنگ جهانی In the second world war over 60 million people uh, lost their lives. همه انسان بودن. They were all human beings. چرا ایده خاصی از اینها مهم شده؟ Why is it that only a select group of those who were killed have become so prominent and important? because of the difference humankind draws between warfare and genocide. Do you think that the 60 million who lost their lives were all as a result of warfare alone? There were two million um, that were part of the military at the time, perhaps altogether. Uh, 58 million civilians with no roles in the war. <coughs> Christians, Muslims, they were all killed. The second and more important question that I raised was, اگر چنین چیزی اتفاق افتاده و این واقعه تاریخی است چرا اجازه نمیدن دانشمندان راجع به اون تحقیق کنند؟ If this event happened and if it is a historical event then we should allow everyone to research it and study it. خب اگر یه واقعیت باشه هر چی تحقیقات بیشتر بشه شفافتر میشه. The more research and studies are done the more we can become aware of the realities that happened. ما الان اجازه میدیم راجع به قوانین مسلم فیزیکی و ریاضی هم باز تحقیق انجام بشه. We still leave open to further studies absolute knowledge of science or math. حوادث تاریخی که همیشه در معرض تحقیق هستن. Historical events are always subject to revisions and reviews and studies. ما داریم درباره تاریخ بشر 7000 سال قبل تحقیق تحقیق می‌کنیم. We're still revising our thoughts about what happened over thousands of years ago. Why is it that those who ask questions are persecuted? Why is every why is such sensitivity or such prohibition on further studies on the subject? Whereas we can openly question God, the prophets, concepts such as freedom and democracy. And the third question that I raised in this regard, if this happened, where did it happen? Had the Palestinian people had anything to do with it? Why should the Palestinians pay for it now? Five million displaced, displaced Palestinian people is what I'm talking about. Over 60 years of living under threat, losing the lives of thousands of dear ones, and homes that are destroyed on a daily basis over people's heads. You might argue that the Jews have the right to have a government. We're not against that. But where? باید برن یه جایی که مردمشون بپذیرن به اینا رأی بدن دولت بزن. At a place where their people will accept where people will vote for them and where they can govern. نه با آواره کردن یه ملت. Not at the cost of displacing a whole nation. و با اشغال یک سرزمین. And occupying the whole territory. Is that a change in your position that Israel should be wiped away? And second, would you ever be willing to sit down 
with Jews, with scholars, with survivors of Hitler's camps where six million died. Our American film director, Steven Spielberg, is one of many collecting the stories of those still alive who will tell you of the dead and the program to kill the Jews in Germany and elsewhere. I feel that there is a, a, feeling, a feeling of a need to escape the truth here. Among American politicians, as well as uh, some media here. The main question is: The main question is: If this happened in Europe, what is the fault of the Palestinian people? This is the problem we have today, the, the root cause of many of our problems, not what happened 60 years ago. The Palestinian people, are, their lives are being destroyed today under the pretext of the Holocaust. Their lands have been occupied, usurped. What is their fault? What are they to be blamed for? Are they not human beings? Do they have no rights? What role did they play in the Holocaust? Uh, some tend to sort of change the subject. Of uh, from the first day, I said, well, assuming that the Holocaust happened, then again, what does it have to do with the Palestinian people? Not at all. Nothing. Believe me, Palestinian people are human beings. They have feelings. They like to live in their own lands. To have the right to self-determination. To feel secure in their homes. So that their small kids are not killed. So that women are not taken from their own homes, taken from their own homes. What is the future of such measures?